Tonight's broadcast of Culture Freedom Radio Network is brought to you by Masjid El Salam, an El Salam gift shop, which is located at 625 North Pearl Street in Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, yes, 625 North Pearl Street in Jacksonville, Florida. Masjid El Salam. Thank you for tuning in tonight to this radio broadcast of Culture Freedom Radio Network with our great sister, Shahrazad Ali, in the house. Peace and greetings, family. Peace and greetings, family. How y'all doing out there? How y'all doing out there? Welcome in to Culture Freedom Radio Network. One more time, one more time in the house, in the house to the night. Oh, man, we got a special show lined up for you right here tonight on Culture Freedom Radio. Coming live and direct to you from Blog Talk Radio, indeed. Oh, man, we have in the house tonight the great sister, Sister Shara Za Ali. Let me say that again, y'all. That's the queen. Sister Shahrazad Ali will be in the house tonight with us right here again on Culture Freedom Radio Network. Man, I've been waiting on this show, been waiting on this show for real. Oh, yes. Oh, man, we're just going to be in the house tonight uh, just getting ready, man, uh, for the pre-lecture. Oh, yeah, this is a like, pre-lecture interview uh, that we're going to be having tonight. Uh, she's going to be down in Jacksonville, Florida, and we're going to be going into that, too, and telling you about the information about Jacksonville, Florida. So tonight, we just want to come in the house and have a little sit-down with our sister, Sister Shahrazad Ali, man, most definitely in the house tonight. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing right here tonight on Culture Freedom Radio Network uh, before we get in, because we're, we're waiting on the sister to come on in. And we're just going to have to tell you all about a little bit how to stay connected with us right here at Culture Freedom Radio Network. Hey, you can stay connected with us right there on Facebook at Culture Freedom Radio Network on Facebook. And also, you can check us out at Culture Freedom on Facebook as well. That's Culture Freedom Radio Network and Culture Freedom on Facebook. And you can also link up with us right there on Twitter, man. I like to call it a little site, the little Tweety Bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Hey, link up with us right there, man, at Culture Freedom 9 on Twitter. And on Instagram, check us out right there at, no, Instagram, yeah, and Instagram. Culture Freedom Radio Network and on um, Google Plus. Damn, I, I so many things. I'm trying to think of everything at one time, y'all. At Insta, um, Google Plus, check us out at Culture Freedom TV on Google Plus. There's Co- Google Plus and on YouTube at Culture Freedom TV right there. And most definitely want to go and check us out right there on our official page, home page, and website. That is culturefreedomradio.com. Culturefreedomradio.com, the official homepage and website for Culture Freedom Radio Network, most definitely in the house, in the house, in the house. So like I said, man, we just went on our guest to come on in the house with the Shahrazad Ali in the house. He's going to come on in um, tonight with us and share some great information. And uh, I want to thank y'all family. Thank you all for sharing in with all the uh, archive shows and uh, things that we have uh, in the past. A lot of great shows. So if you missed the show, don't worry. Everything is recorded and it's also archived. You can go back eight years or so that have long we've been doing these shows and listen to each and every episode that we've ever done. And also, if you have an Apple device, whether it's the um, the MacBook, it's the iPad, iPod, iPhone, whatever it is, you can check us out right there on iTunes as well, family. Check us out on iTunes and listen to each and every episode that we have. Even this show, after it's recorded, it automatically goes over to iTunes. So you can check us out right there in the Apple Store or the iPod Store, um, right there, Culture Freedom Radio Network on iTunes. Hey, man, I'm telling y'all. And just do y'all self a favor, man. You want to stay connected with the Culture Freedom Radio Network and see the various outlets that we have. Man, just Google search Culture Freedom Radio Network, and you can see that we all over the Internet. We all over Everything. I said everything, y'all. And we also right there, man, if you uh, want to check us out uh, from Android, whatever, you can get the app called TuneIn Radio. TuneIn Radio. We're also on TuneIn Radio Network. I'm telling y'all, hey, look, we got our people are all over the place. So we got to be all over the place to reach the minds of our people. So we're right there on TuneIn Radio. You can get that app, man. You know, it's just like iHeart, y'all. And we're shooting to go to iHeart Radio as well. I'm in the making. We're trying to get that in the makings to go to iHeart. But you can go to TuneIn Radio, get that app from the uh, Apple Store or the Android Store or the Windows Store and get that app, man, uh, Coach, um, get that app, TuneIn Radio, and just search for Culture Freedom Radio Network. 
and you will see us in the house. And I want to give another shout out, man. I got to give a shout out. I always for, forget to do this. I hope that brother don't beat me up when he see me. I know I'm just playing. He know he want to do that. Let me give a shout out to my good brother, brother uh, Walter Landy. Brother Walter Landy, peace to your family, peace to you, man. Thank you for always listening to Culture Freedom Radio and the wonderful things that you do. Uh, the brother made me a wonderful um, greeting card on Facebook for my birthday as well. So peace to you, brother Walter Landy, man. I always when I see your your name on Facebook, and I said, let me give a shout out to that brother. But every time I get on this mic, you know that the spirit, that microphone spirit, get me, and I just get to going and flowing, and I always forget. So peace to your brother Walter Landy, and I appreciate appreciate you for all that you do as well. And also, fellow, we're gonna have our great family down there at Magic El Salam will be calling in tonight. At Magic El Salam, the family will be calling in with question and answers, and also when the sister come in. You, the listeners, will be able to call in and ask questions when we do question and answers. You can call in and ask questions as well. So tonight, we're going to be getting ready to get this show on the ball. Um, Brother Dave, I see you. We're not going to open the mics yet until after she comes on, and then we get ready for question and answer session. So I have to wait for that. You know, hey, that's protocol, brother. It's protocol in this thing. We got to act professional. Professional. But yeah, uh, so this one here, let me bring my brother Eric. Oh, I got to say this here. This show is always hosted by none other your brothers. Y'all know who it is. It's brother Eric and brother Sunray 9. We are your gracious hosts right here on Culture Freedom Radio Network in the house, in the house. Coming live and direct from Vlog Talk Radio. So peace to y'all. Thank We thank y'all for all for you tuning in. Let me bring my brother Eric in the house and we're going to get ready to get this show on the ball, on the ball. Brother Eric, peace, peace. Peace, peace, peace. I'm Ray. Peace to the family. Yes, indeed. I'm excited to bring this sister on. Sister Shiraz Ali. For me to say Shiraz Ali. You know, uh, we are sometimes tongue-tied when it comes to pronouncing original language. Shahrazad Ali, you know. Uh, how long take you, Sun Ray? And this is a question for the family. Just we just chopping it up to the sister coming in the house. How long did it take you to like acclimate yourself to, uh, you know, the original? Uh, Language and words and sounds, you know. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, it's like duwa, and you'd be like duwa. How do you spell duwa? You know. <laughs> uh, how do you spell Ali? Is that what an E? <laughs> you know what I mean? There's different things of that nature. Just a little off, off topic subject, but uh, the sister, you know, has some books with a plethora of knowledge. You know, for one, it one of her books is how to tell if your man is gay or bisexual. That that's a good read. I haven't picked that one up for this, for myself because you know that that's not needed. But you know. I'm, I'm sure there's a wealth of knowledge in that, you know, and it's probably a good read for the show. Uh, things your parents should have told you. Now that one right there, that's a must get. You don't get nothing else. You should get. No, I can't say that. I can't say that somewhere because. <laughs> She got another book that that stipulates, and the title is, Are You Still a Slave? Oh, man. Yes, sir. By Sister Shahrazad Ali. I can't leave that one out. And, oh, The Black Man's Guide to Understanding a Black Woman. Oh, yeah, that's a must. That was in 1989 when when that book came out. But she has a a wealth of knowledge on YouTube, and uh, she's been premiered on Culture Freedom Radio before, and she's on a, 
a lot of other social network sites uh, being premiered on CNN, you know, uh, and all these European conglomerates, if I can say conglomerates, or, <laughs> you know, popular shows. But, uh, yeah, we're happy to have her in the house with us tonight. Uh, and the phone lines will be open so you can ask questions, you know. And, and, and to be quite frank, frank with uh, the family, you know, ask the sister something that might help you. I mean, ask the sister something that's beneficial. Don't call in and ask the sister some randomness. I mean, because, you know, this Culture Freedom Radio and some right, we are here and our platform is to present knowledge, right? Yes, sir. To engage in knowledge and people share knowledge. So, and why? So we can grow. Mm-hmm. Right? And so we can share this knowledge to someone else. But we here, we can go back and share with family members, people that we work with, uh, people we encounter, share the show, you know, oh, I heard this sister on Culture Freedom Radio. I never heard of Sister Shahrazad Ali. Who is she? But she draws so much knowledge on me until she caused me to do some research, and I found out that, that to be for that to be beneficial for me and my family and you know, my associates. You know? I mean, you choose to uh, share valuable information with, but, uh, you know, you ain't living if you don't learn something new every day. I just say that. You're not living if the mind is not uh, stimulated with... uh, new information. You lay dormant. And uh, that's a lot of times how children say, I'm bored. Because their mind is not being stimulated. You know, they need stimulation. The mind's lying dormant. I know we're not somewhere. Is the sister there yet? No, no, sir. No, sir. I'm trying to dig. Okay, well, I'll carry on. Yes, sir. Go ahead, bro. Uh, I I know uh, when I used to tell my mom I was bored, she, you know, she tell me to read a book. Get in there and read a book. She's like, uh, a book? You know, I wasn't there at the time. Just a child. Just a you know, a youth. But reading is stimulating the mind. You know, people suffer from Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease. Why is that? Because the mind hasn't been stimulated. You know, the mind reacts to what you do every day and your mind is on a, a what do you call it a uh, regimen so it's used to doing everything that you always do you can change it up you know but your body will react to it but some people don't want to venture out I know uh, a lot of people, a lot of my friends that I grew up with, and basically I would say it would be considered a small town, farming town, but not to be taken lightly because it provides uh, fruits and vegetables for the whole United States, but yet still, 
small little country town. A lot of my uh, friends, associates, and people I know have never ventured out outside of where where they were born, which was which is Stockton, California. Never ventured out. Never seek to venture out. And I've lived in different states, and I found that out in certain communities where they just don't venture out. Well, if you don't travel and if you don't move around, you don't learn, you see. The messenger taught us to know the square root of the land mass, how much the worth the earth weighs, how far is the sun from the earth. And the majority of us don't even know how many square miles we live in. We don't know how much is the water and how much is the land. That's something to study. So you'll know how much where I live and the square and where I live, how much water is available? You see? And how much land mass do I have to build on? What's my population? What's my uh, revenue for my city or for my state? Who's my mayor? Who's my congressman? You see what I'm saying? Who's the sheriff of my town? And what's he all about? You know? What are the top paying uh, companies listed in the area that I live? Well, wait a minute. I'm doing the show, man. I'll be in in a minute, okay? I'm sorry, family. But these are things that we need to need to know as builders as of individuals gaining knowledge. We need to know the whole 360, the circumference of what we're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? We need to know uh, what what's the going rate on real estate in this certain area where I live. Is it possible I can open up shop somewhere? Just food for thought. We're bringing on the sister eventually. Somewhere, are you there? Sister might be trying to get situated. But, uh, that, that's what we're dealing with because, uh, you know, Donald Trump is not our answer. And we already know that. Just a front man and he's the call man calling out fake news that he's fake. But he ain't for us. He for the European. He was put in there for them. Donald Trump is the Europeans trial, not not yours and mine. I mean mine and yours. That's their trial. Now he could be your trial if you think like this, but nah. European, lower class European turning more nigger every day. And 
And notice how the lower class European is trying to assimilate with you. Notice that shit. Why? You got Warren reading Martin Luther King's wife's letter. She's trying to assimilate like you because they're being treated like you. Sorry, are you in the house? All right, you in the house? I'm gonna have to put myself on mute in a minute. But yeah, family, we up here representing Culture Freedom Radio. I've been doing this for eight years, and uh, we're gonna continue to do this and bring you information. Quite contrary, people use what we what we present, which is good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But we don't get no shout-outs. But then again, why you need shout-outs? It's like, are we doing this for shout-outs? No. But we just let making it plain. But we're going to bring it to you. We got the masjid online getting ready for the sister to come on. I know she's going to bring that fire. So uh, I'm waiting, trying to get ready. Let me go to uh, our homepage and... uh, we're going to go to a clip. I think some we have technical difficulties right now. So uh, you just, y'all just uh, hold on, and we'll be with y'all in a minute. All right, family. All right, family. Sorry about that, family. We just had to work out a couple of kinks. We had to work out a couple of kinks and uh, just link up and get the sister. Uh, she's getting ready to call in right now. So, hey, with that said, family, we're going to play this brief bio and we're going to get our great sister who you've been waiting on to hear from tonight. Sister Sharaza Ali is most definitely in the house right here on Culture Freedom Radio Network. We're just going to chop it up tonight, man. Get ready for the pre lecture. That's what I call the pre lecture interview and sit down and get y'all to know a little bit about. Sister Sharaza Ali, if y'all don't know, if you don't know, if you don't know Sister Sharaza Ali, I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. But uh, we're going to get ready to bring her in here. Let me play this right here, and we're going to open this line, and we're going to get our sister in the house. We most definitely want to hear from our sister tonight right after this right here. 
Peace, family. Hey, how y'all doing out there? Let me give y'all a little brief bio about our great sister and our great guest we have right here on Culture Freedom Radio Network tonight, Sister Sharaza Ali. First of all, Sister Sharaza Ali was born in Atlanta, Georgia, but raised in Cincinnati, Ohio. Sister Sharaza Ali have authored several books such as Are You Still a Slave? How Not to Eat Pork? The Black Woman Guide to Understanding the Black Man, but most of all, The Black Man Guide to Understanding the Black Woman. Oh, man, indeed. Hey, this book right here, man, is said to bring on a lot of heated arguments among many blacks in many parts of the United States. Her story about the Black Man Guide to Understanding the Black Woman has appeared in such outlets such as the LA Times, the New York Times, Washington Post, Newsday, Newsweek. Sister Sharaza Ali have appeared on several television shows such as the Tony, Tony Brown Journal, Sally Jesse Raphael Show, The Phil Donahue Show, Geraldo Television Program, and many, many more. She has toured all over the United States and been appeared in several black conscious outlets. She has also been a member of the Nation of Islam and a student of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Oh, yes. We talk about our great sister, sister Sharaza Ali, who we're honored to have with us right here tonight on Culture Freedom Radio. With that that said, family, hey, we know God, we're not going to prolong it. We're going to get right on into this show and get our sister in this house, Sister Sharaza Ali. Thank y'all for tuning into this broadcast. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. All right. Since we said that, y'all put your own hands together and let's introduce our sister, sister Sharaza Ali in the house right here tonight. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Put them hands together. Put them hands together, y'all. Put them hands together like we have some catch up in here. Like Kurt Franklin. Y'all better know what's in here. The Sharaza Ali in the house. Come on, y'all. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up like you just won them lottery tickets. Give it up like you just won the lottery. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Peace, brother Eric, I see you back in the house, man. We got the sister in the house. Let me go ahead and yes, open sir. the mic and get back in, in the house, brother. Yes, sir. Let me see you guys. Yes, sir. I'm here. Yes, you go. Peace, peace. Assalamu alaikum, my sister. Uh oh, that's the wrong number. Wrong number. Wrong number. Wrong number. Wrong number. A wrong number, brother. <laughs> See, I'm I'm clown. I got nervous just that fast. PC, sister, peace, peace, peace. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> well, in fact, can you hear me now? Oh, yes, ma'am. Loud and clear. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Listen, I got so many papers here on this desk and so many numbers and contacts and stuff. I really, that just uh, got past me this evening when I was looking yeah. for it. But uh, I'm so glad to get a chance to talk to you all and let you people know that I'll be back in Jacksonville next weekend and that uh, Brother Umar at a Masjid El Salam, I believe, it's yes, called um, over on, uh, what's that, 1625 North Pearl Street in Jacksonville. Yeah. Uh, wonderful people, his wife, Sister Adela, and Brother Umar, they're just hardworking people. And uh, I appreciate that so much when I run into black people who are really working hard. I was telling the brother that so many black people I run into now say things every time something happens. They say something like, well, you know, we just got to come together. You know, hey, we just got to come together. But they're starting to use that as an excuse not to do anything because saying that if uh, we just come together, we can get things done. Well, all of us are not going to come together. So then that means that they're not going to do anything waiting on some fantasy time when that happens, you know. Uh by the time that happens, it'll be too late to do the kind of things that need to be done now. And so I'm uh, the book that I'm bringing, my new release that I'm bringing, is called Urban Survival for the mm. Years to Come. And uh, I'll paraphrase, uh, how are we going to survive under the Trump administration? Uh-oh. And so we have a lot to talk about and to do to figure out uh, how are we going to make it? You know, we don't really have a plan. We don't have a collective plan. Uh, we don't have any money that we can pool our resources and trust each other with. Uh, we uh, uh, are not going to get any special treatment. So we have to start trying to figure out, well, what are we going to do? How are we going to make it as times get harder? We think we have seen some hard times. Well, hard times are not just when you don't have enough food to eat 
or you can't pay your rent or your car get repossessed. That's not the kind of hard times I'm talking about. You know, we're talking about possibly some kind of upheaval in this country of people who are going to get uh, more and more frustrated about how things are. And uh, we haven't taken responsibility for ourselves. We have relied on the enemy, and now uh, things are changing in a way that uh, we're not going to be happy with. We already ain't happy, but now things are going to change in a real way that we're not going to be happy with. And so we got to talk about those things. we got to have a plan. we got to see what can we do. You know, how can we protect our families, and how can we feed ourselves and some responsibility that we've never had? Yeah. So I, and, I'm real happy to come to Jacksonville. Yes, ma'am. And, and yes, ma'am. But first, before we actually get started, I really want to say that, and uh, I really want to congratulate you on that uh, when you was down there last year on that certificate of appreciation that you received last year. I seen the picture. Oh, that was so beautiful. Yes. Yeah. 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 Congratulations. You you most definitely deserve it. If not, to deserve it, sister. Well, I you thank you. Well. And it was just such a blessing. And uh, you know the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, who was my teacher, not Minister Farrakhan. He is not my teacher. I'm not in there with that. Uh, I still have the same teacher that I've had, you know, say for the past fifty years almost. And so uh, he says that you will know my followers for they will be the successful ones. And that's not uh, just, we're not just talking about financial success. We mean success with our people and being uh, part of the light to help lead the way, you know. And I'm not sent by anyone. Uh, God didn't choose me. I have not been appointed. I just appointed myself. And that's what everyone has to do if they see some work that needs to be done. We just have to appoint ourselves and go do it and not look for really any kind of special recognition. Uh, you know, what they say, if you want credit, apply to MasterCard and Visa because you ain't going to get nothing from the blind, deaf, and dumb. <laughs> you ain't got nothing coming from that group. But, however, those of us who are trying to do this work, we don't have any choice. We have to keep doing it. Yes, man. And, and I'm glad you brought up the messenger. Um, and I want to ask you a question on that one. Um, how important, or how should I say this, how relevant is this, this the, the teaching of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, especially in these days and times for us? Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh it's, it's really, really relevant right now. Uh, mainly because most of the stuff that he taught us, uh, we have lived to see so much of it coming true. He said the beast would be wounded in the head. That's the head of the government, okay? And uh, uh, he talked, you remember, at one time when he was trying to put the children in uniforms, you know, uh, he got rejected by blacks and whites. When he tried to separate the girls from the boys, He, you know, he got rejected on all of those things. And when he was fostering uh, homeschooling, you know, he was attacked for that. Just you name it, everything, wearing you anything. And now, you know, 90% of all the schools in America are doing everything that he said. They all got on uniforms now, and most of them are being homeschooled, a lot of them now. And uh, they're all uh, uh, following almost to the letter a lot of the instructions that he gave. Of course, nobody will ever give him any recognition or credit for that. But those were his ideas, you know. And uh, the other thing that I'll be bringing with me, if uh, we can get them done in time, is that I'm going to bring some copies of the economic blueprint to sell. Because, you know, people keep, the only part of the economic blueprint that we seem to repeat is that people say we got to pool our resources. Well, that came from him. All right. But I want to bring the entire economic blueprint because there's about 12 different things. And, uh, the first one by itself, brother, is going to be enough to just knock everybody out. You know what the first uh, instruction is in the economic blueprint? What's that, my sister? No, I hadn't read Separate it. Separate yourself from your slave master. Woo. Yeah. 
Yeah, that yeah. one will stop uh, you right there. And you can't get no further after somebody try to figure out how to do that. <laughs> Separate yourself from the slave master. Mm. Yeah. That that seems like one of the hardest parts of our people. That, it that is. Right now. Yes, sir. Don't That's want to number acknowledge. One. That is the most difficult. No, you can't tell our people that these they like no no. Oh, oh my, and also my sister, we have our, uh, my good brother, brother Eric, on the line as well. He's on here with us. He's the other co-founder of uh, Culture Freedom Radio. He was on here yeah, with us last year. Yeah, I heard that he gave year. me that wonderful introduction. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, brother. Eric, you you, uh, you think you had some questions too, there, brother Eric? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm like and sister. Waalaikumsalam. How you feeling? Oh, I'm fine, thank Allah. Okay. Yes. Yes, ma'am. I, I, this is my one of my first questions. Is how do you, how do you feel spiritually and physically following the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad? Because no, no, yes. the reason I ask because what? you that, go ahead. Yeah. The reason I ask you that is is so important. To hear from a seasoned, experienced person who's been practicing it for longer than maybe some of y'all listeners. been alive. Exactly, <laughs> and to share the benefits of that, like what's to come? Is this really? Go- Am I going to be successful well, you know, he in, got, with this? Uh, Go the ahead, Messenger sir. had one one really good book out that I always have loved, and that book is Message to the Black Man in America. Mm-hmm. And uh, those answers about what's to come and how it's going to come and everything, and uh, uh, all that information is in that particular book. You know, the Messenger was not an entertainer like most of the people that we have out there now claiming they're teaching some kind of Islam. You know, he just would teach and give the facts and talk about it. He uh, was not Malcolm. He was not Khalid Muhammad. You know, he was not like me, even as as a sister. He uh, was not Muhammad Ali. He wasn't Louis Farrakhan. He was none of those people. He was himself, and he was bringing very important information. And I think something that's interesting, you know, one thing about being an old head, you're right, is that I know what happened, who said what, who did what over the past 50 years, okay? So people making up a whole lot of new information and lies and coming up with things, and I can tell them, no, that's not true. That didn't happen. No, that's not what he said or whatever. But uh, all of the people, the main people that our people respect, love, and admire, that's Malcolm, Khalid Muhammad, Muhammad Ali, Minister Farrakhan, and Sherazad Ali. What is the one thing the five of them people got in common? We are Elijah all Muhammad. students of the teachings that are Elijah Muhammad. Yes, and everybody wants to give us praise, not everybody, but a lot of people, without recognizing who the teacher was. He made us all. He made mm-hmm. us all, took us up out of the black dirt, the filth, and the grime and everything else, and he gave us the supreme wisdom. That don't never expire, and it's information that's designed to save our lives. It don't matter what you say you believe. It don't matter what religion you practice. Any part of the messenger's teachings that you take will benefit you and your family. And it has it was that certainly again, the best sir. decision say- I could have ever made. Say that again, sister, please. Say it again. Please. That just, I just said that it, it doesn't matter what religion you practice. It doesn't matter what you believe in, who your God is, or whatever. Any part of the messenger's teachings that you take will improve you and your family's life. Any part of it. In fact, people have taken a lot of parts of it and claimed that they made it up. You know, but any part of that that you take, because it is the supreme wisdom. It's nothing over it. He brought us a new language. Uh, you know, all of the people going around talking about the planet Earth, the original man. Those are things he told, he brought us. Even down to Malcolm. Malcolm Shabazz. Shabazz ain't no Arabic name. Uh, Malcolm didn't get that from no Eastern Muslims. The messenger gave him Shabazz. Okay. So, you know, whatever we got of value, we got from him. 
and it was the best decision, as I said, that I have ever made. And everybody can believe what they want to. You know, I don't try to teach people about religion, but I can testify about my own religion without trying to convert anybody because I can't be converted myself, so I respect that, you know. So, you know, when I come to Jacksonville, uh, and I'll be speaking on Sunday, Sunday afternoon, that's February the 19th, around uh, 1, 2 o'clock, sometime around in that, um, I think you have to get the tickets online, yeah, if, if uh, I, I'm correct. And uh, Brother Umar and them, they uh, always have a very nice and warm welcome for me there, very attentive audience. And, uh, you know, the messenger said something else. He said that the people that was going to go to the hereafter could ride with him in a taxi cab. So it ain't going to be no lot of us anyway that survive the hell that's soon to take place. All right. And uh, I'm not anxious for it to start. He said it'll be blood knee deep in the streets. We think it's already like that, but it's not. The worst is yet to come. Yes, man. And so, you know, we're living in a, in a very crucial time, and people who reject the truth will have to pay what they weigh for that. That's they, they're not going to be able to. Uh, uh, he said in the lessons that no amount of pity will be given out. And I imagine that's from the enemy or each other. And so that's why I put together this urban survival, which is going to be a way to help us figure out how to have food, how to, you know, preserve water, and how to do some basic things that we may need and things that we need to know how to do anyway since we have never really had any responsibility for ourselves, you know. So... um, Ahead, Those are kind of things that you know we need to talk about. And, and yes, Michael, that was one of my questions I had to ask you, but you kind of touched on with the with the new book. So I'm gonna have to wait till I get the book and talk because that was one of the yes, questions sir. I was asking you: should should black people be worried about Donald Trump? So we should be worried about all the white people. It's not just him. <laughs> All the white people is Donald Trump. They all militia. All of them is the same. It's not a lot of difference, you know. However, uh. This one that's in there now, he got a whole different posture on it, and he doesn't put confusion in there, and that's you know that's gonna affect a lot of things, and everybody gonna go to their own kind. See, while we have been out here, you know, begging, I looked at that sister Taraja P Henson when she was on some kind of award show, Grammys or something they had a couple of weeks ago, and uh, they won it for the hidden figures which they stole no, that, that title, whoever the devil was that wrote that play, stole that title from Tariq Nasheed, Hidden Colors, you know, all of the ones he did. Ain't nobody used hidden and nothing until now they got hidden figures. So they stole that idea. She, not the sisters. They didn't write it. They just acted in it. But the devil who wrote that story, you know, I don't know if they gave her that information or what, but anyway, she stole that idea from Tariq. But anyway, she got up there, and she was thanking them, of course, for her award. And then she started talking about that we got to all come together. Now nah, she's going to go out there and tell the white people that we, me and them, we all got to come together. We can't even come together on our own. And then she's going to ask the devil, telling them that we got to all come together. You know, and I thought that that was just so silly. We are so silly. But when you buy into that Hollywood myth, you know, those are the kind of things that you believe in and you want to be praised by them, uh, being praised by your own kind is not enough. You know, we want to be included in everything that they do, and uh, we want to get some kind of recognition out of that. And uh, they are already together. They ain't, they don't never have to get up nowhere and say, what we got to do is all come together. <laughs> you ain't never heard no white people say that. Listen, we got to have unity. We got to come together. They don't have to talk that. See? And they don't have to have no meeting to have unity. They just be in agreement with the same idea. Okay? That's unity. Mm-hmm. They ain't got to all get together and plan out something. They already agree on what it's supposed to be. They're supposed to be in charge, and we're supposed to be subservient. And that's how it's yes, been. That's how it is. Yes, man. And and I just want to let you know, Miss Charlotte, that I, I received your book. I, I, per- I got it in. Uh, l- Sometime earlier last week, I hadn't got a chance to sit down and read. I've been working so many long hours, but I got the book, and I got to take this test to see am I still a slave. Are you still a slave? <laughs> I, I got it in last hey, week. Hey, it'll surprise you. Oh, we. Oh, yeah. And I just read just one of the questions. The first question, are politicians throughout the years, um, our politicians throughout the years have worked hard to 
to uh, represent our needs and must have our votes to continue their progress. So even that it's kind of tricky. Like, uh oh, should I put yes, no? <laughs> so you're right. It's, <laughs> it's a, oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Is that true or false? Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you gotta wonder. Yeah, yeah, so I, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm anxious to really get in, hurry up and get into this one. And uh, and oh yeah, about the new one you said. Uh, when can we expect the uh the book to be out? The new one you it's have. out. I'm bringing it with me to Jacksonville. I'm oh, okay. gonna premiere it in Jacksonville. Okay, okay. And 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 when we yeah. get ready to purchase it, uh, where can we purchase it from? Uh, probably online, uh, or Amazon somewhere. No, I, I don't okay. put all of my books online. I have the Black Man's Guide and Are You Still mm-hmm. a Slave online, but those are the only two. But I have four other books, Things Your Parents Should Have Told You, um, Urban Survival, How Not to Eat Pork or Life Without the Pig, and uh, did I say Things Your Parents Should Have Told You? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am you did. But anyway, I got uh, yeah. four other books that I don't put online. I just put those two out there because mm-hmm. the uh, uh, they rob you so on all of those sites, you know. They mm. provide the vehicle for you to sell, but they rob you so, and you have to give them anywhere from twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five percent of whatever mm. your item is you're selling. So, I'm not going to put all of my books on there. So you would have to uh, go to uh, Sister Sherazad Ali at Yahoo.com, go to my email address, and just uh, tell me what you want, uh, what you're asking about, whatever. I do it all day every. And I just respond and tell them, you know, what books I have in stock, how much they are, and where to send the uh, money order to. And that's how I do those. So snail mail, but it's important information. That's right. Yes, man. And I and I do have yes, a uh, postcard. Go ahead, brother. Yes, sir. I, I'm sorry, but I, I just had to yes. interject right quick. Yes, sir. I'm Go like, ahead, to to the anxious people, don't even waste your time and try to. Search online for the sister stuff on PDF. Don't even do it. You, it's a waste of time. Just support the sister and go buy her book. Buy the book. Okay. You just be wasting well, time. Well, you know, I, I want uh, it, but, the, but you know, our this. people. Yes. Yeah. Her 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 uh, stuff is so tight until uh, you ain't gonna get it no way. <laughs> you ain't going to get nothing by Sister Charizard Ali unless you buy it. You might get a quote. You might get a paraphrase, but you ain't going to get well, no Well, you know, everything, every word I've ever uttered over the 20 years, I think they have clipped together and put them all on YouTube. And uh, <laughs> Listen, brother, we found my son found a site the other week on Facebook that had over 2 million hits. Now, Ooh. to me, that don't, I don't understand how all that goes. But he said, Mama, can you believe that? I say, well, and uh, I don't have Facebook and all of that, and I don't want it. Mm. You know, that's something for y'all, and y'all enjoy it, and y'all do it, but I'm not going to be bothered with that. Do you know how many hundreds of thousands of people that would be harassing me if I was on that? So I don't want to yeah. do that. You know, I'm going to let y'all go on and do that and see how that go. You know, you know, we say in the black community, don't snitch. You know, that's supposed to be one of them rules. You 